And I really feel pretty good about myself. Until I go home one Christmas and go to this party for the first time in, I don't know how long, I am completely surrounded by my people. Raisins, raisins everywhere. It feels real strange. <laughs> I can't get comfortable. I clock a couple of wigger women across the room. You know, white girls that act black and hang out exclusively with black men. <laughs> but instead of feeling encouraged, I feel threatened, so no comfort there either, which is also strange. So I change tack on the goobers and vector for the raisinettes. <laughs> no hardship, because the sisters are fine. <laughs> I dance with a couple. <laughs> and then can't get a dance. I get no rhythm from nobody. I get back to the house, and my brother-in-law tells me he had heard some talk at the party about this brother from New York trying so hard to be black. <laughs> <laughs> this had come from the Wigger women. The sister said I danced like a white boy imitating her brother. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Found guilty of acting black. Poorly. <laughs> no. Actually, what that makes me is a big. Me? Since it was my conversation with Sean that helped me to smell my own crap, maybe just conversing with folk. Maybe white folk in general are not the adversary. Let them show me who they are instead of letting the jerking of my knee tattoo a label across their foreheads first. Yeah. Maybe that's the place to start. 